Hi guys, it's Andrea here from Aspiring Businesswomen. If you are catching us on the replay, please feel free to pop along to www.aspiringbusinesswomen.co.uk for further details. Hi to anybody who's coming in just now. What I am looking to do today is take you behind the scenes of ABW um, on the Kind of Clothes Facebook page. We t- you kind of like see great things on the um, on the web. You get to see uh, the website's brilliant. There's lots of information there anyway, but a lot of the networking goes around. Hi there, hun. Goes on at, in the background. It's on the closed Facebook pages. Now we have five different groups which are split into different regions. But what we are doing now, hi Aaron, is we are. Um, we're branching out, quite frankly. Oh, signal keeps dropping. I'm really sorry about that. Hi from Jen. How are you doing? Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do today was talk to you about what's going on behind the scenes. I'm trying to set up my phone for you, but it's not really working. Um, what's going on behind the scenes? What are they talking about back there? We've got about uh, 300 women in our main aspiring business women networking group in Facebook. And I wanted to, I mean, it's really naughty to do this because, you know, they're, they're networking back there and I'm telling all their secrets. <laughs> but what we're doing just now, the kind of like top five posts that we're talking about just now. Thank you very much, Sarah. Uh, Sarah's an aspiring business woman, aren't you, dear? Um, we're talking about guest blog posts at the back there. We're talking um, about uh, Catherine Bell Chambers. We're sharing some fantastic information um, about somebody she's been treating, um, which is really interesting because there have been a lot of ladies who have come on and thought and said that they've had similar experiences. Um, and it's also offered as a referral uh, service, which has been great. Hi there. Um, not quite sure what that says. <laughs> How are you doing? I um, offered a little tip of the day um, at the background there, and it was about Facebook um, and business pages, Mega Holdings Network. Okay, hi there. How are you doing? Um, and it's talking about uh, in the background, if you have a business page, um, are you utilizing your insights? on your business page? Are you going into it? Are you looking at your uh, best posts? Are you looking at um, being able to boost the posts? And also, and what I like to use it for, is to look at people who are also in my area of expertise, people who are also in my kind of business form, and I like to watch their pages. Um, I don't know if that's something that you've ever done, um, and it kind of, for me, I'm quite, yeah, got to use analytics, yeah. Um, for me, I'm quite a competitive person, um, no matter what business that I'm in or no matter what I'm doing. And I like to make sure that I'm the best of what I'm doing. So especially when it comes to my business Facebook page, I want to make sure that my content is getting interaction. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, my content is getting interaction. Um, that my posts are better than other people's, that my, that I'm, even though I've maybe got a smaller following, that the interaction on the page is higher than those who have got massive followings. And it doesn't even have to be in the same industry. If I feel that somebody is an expert in an industry, I want to, I want to see what they're doing. Like it doesn't even have to be, um, obviously I run Wild About Tan as well. Um, and I, it doesn't have to be about a tanning business or a beauty business. I want to see what what's going on everywhere, and I want to see what posts are getting uh, most attention. Anyway, so that's a little bit about what we're talking about. And this is just the one page of aspiring business women, and we're all just kind of what we do in the background here is we collaborate, we give each other information, we give each other referrals, we talk about what we're doing, and see how that might work for somebody else. Love getting midday advice. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Um, I was just watching a scope from this awesome Australian dude anyway, and um, I was listening to everything he's got to say. I'm sitting here writing notes. It's so good. Andrea's awesome. <laughs> it's so good to, um, to, to, to have all this information at our fingertips that, you know, we don't have to pay for. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, right. Um, somebody was asking about wills. 
No, that's, I know it sounds a bit morbid, but I think we all need one in asking for referrals. Have you used anybody? We've had people coming on saying if there's nobody in the group, I've got great contacts to people. Advice, again, please, regarding videos to website. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly for you, Sarah. Do you know why? Because it's dead, dead simple. Yes, Sarah, it was you. I didn't want to give your name just in case. Right. Um, with regards to your video, okay, so I would assume that you already have a YouTube account, honey. Have you got a YouTube account? If you do, what you want to do is uh, obviously make sure that that's in line with your business email address. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for not minding. I, I don't want to give away all the secrets. Um, and then what you want to do is, you know, you're, you're recording on your phone. Yes. If you've already got this, if you are recording on your phone, um, on your Periscope app, I have to look away and like think about this because if I look at myself, I'm like, oh my God, it's so ugg. Right. So you have your Periscope app you have done your video, you press at the end of your video, you press save broadcast, okay, that will save it to your phone, then simply all you need to do is go into YouTube, um, into your app on your phone, um, and then press a little, up, like go to my channel, and then press upload, it's like a little arrow pointing down and it has like a little square there at the bottom. And then you go into your phone quite easily um, in the gallery and then you click on the video that you want to upload and it presses upload and it is simple as that. The great thing about the YouTube thing is that you can add tags to the video that you're uploading as well. It'll ask you to add tags. So whatever um, you were talking about in that video and whatever that people might be typing in, whether it be on YouTube or whether it be on Google to bring that up, you can add as a tag as well. I know, Sarah, I always forget. Now, there is catchmeaswell.com, which if you kind of upload that, that can save everything that you do. You don't have to always worry about doing that. I haven't done it yet, but I will be doing it. But please make sure that you do that. Try and do that. Um, another little sneaky thing to do is, and I, this wasn't supposed to be a Periscope thing. <laughs> this Periscope thing. Yeah, exactly, catch.me. Um, is... Once you have done your videos, right, and like me, you forget to save them to your phone so that you can't them and upload them, um, is uh, like I'll go into Twitter because I always send it out through Twitter and, and you know, let's see, I was thinking regarding YouTube stuff and my website via recording off a laptop. Let me think about this. I was thinking about reading YouTube stuff. So my website and recording off a laptop. Same thing, it's exactly the same thing. So on your laptop, it will be saved somewhere. You need to save it under a name that you want to do it, and that you want to save it within your laptop. Again, YouTube channel, to upload, and it's the same exact thing. It's just that it's on your laptop and it's not on your phone. But Periscope, you know, live streaming is brilliant to, to do that too. But you... Are you talking about Periscope on your laptop? You call, are you talking about recording the video on your laptop? You need to have a play. Yeah. Anyway, um, another thing that I like to do with regards to Periscope is um, I am a schedule afterwards. Does anybody use any schedule stuff? Um, yeah, so exactly what I'm saying, Sarah, I do that. Um, with scheduling, what I do is I will take the live streaming that I have done because there'll be a link to it on your Twitter because you've shared it out to everybody there anyway and that they can watch. You click into that, highlight, copy and paste the top of it and then you go into whatever scheduler that you use and I will schedule that to come out over the next 24 hours again. And um, so... Maybe for hashtag ABW hour tonight, I will do this like a live streaming and saying, here it is, here it is, here it is. Um, I know that like schedulers, I mean, they're supposed to save you time and sometimes you can kind of kind of get caught up on them. But that's what I like to do. Like, so you're, you're constantly sending people back from your Twitter to the Periscope um, uh, video as well. Oh, not tried that. Maybe an ABW workshop. It's. Of course we're sorting that out. <laughs> of course that's next in line. Um, but it's just a little bit cheeky and it just gets more people back there um, to Periscope. Um, and then, thank, you know, hopefully if you have uploaded it um, into your phone, um, into your gallery, you can again put that on your website as well. Um, awesome, awesome. 
thank you um yeah put it in your website as well if you have one um add it to your facebook uh, uh, business page as well um, and get everybody to watch it that way we should be blabbing I know we need to is that all right for you Sarah was that good was that good information did I explain it well I sometimes feel like I don't explain things very well because what was in here and what comes out here is totally different things follow me on blab certainly will do hey Ian from scoop hi Ian is my is the signal better down and it's nice that you're still with me um all of you that's really nice thank you very much um down here yeah, what like Aaron's been doing. If you share and follow, that would be great. Need to go uh, and spend time working out. Brilliant. Okay, so the other things that are going on behind the background is well, the other side. Damn it! There, there. Yeah. Well, see, that's what it is actually to me. But I wasn't sure if that looked like that to you. Thank you, Sarah Banks. Okay, so um, also behind the scenes on the Facebook page, um, Claire has been talking about hashtag ABW hour. If you have not, um, <laughs> if you have not been there yet, um, if you've not been online on Twitter yet, it's a fantastic place to go to shamelessly self-promote. Um, I will ask questions to you about your business, about what you've been doing, about your clients, about everything like that. And it's not because I don't know and it's not because I, I'm like stupid. It's because I want to retweet your stuff out for you. Um, that's what you want to do. You want to be retweeted out constantly. Um, make sure the hashtags are in there. Got a potential member checking to me on Messenger. Brilliant. Is that that lovely lady who I've invited in? because she looked like she nearly signed up this morning um so get on there it's an hour of your time even if you're scheduling stuff again you don't even have to be on there it's great if you are so you can talk to other people and, and try to collaborate and things like that but um what you might want to do is schedule stuff if you're not going to be able to be there from eight till nine and um, so last night i scheduled all of my wild about tan um, things for one every 10 minutes with pictures because they are also really really good and eye-catching especially on twitter um, and make sure that you type in hashtag abw hour now also what we are doing because of the love for periscope is an uh, hashtag abw scope and what we will do with those videos as well is again share them out for you we will also share them to our open facebook page as well do, do you know what is it's better to be there like but than not be there if you know what I mean. So if you can't always get to doing it, or do both, schedule stuff out, and then at the same time, you can be sit there conversating with other people. Is that even a word? Conversing. <laughs> on it today. Need more lessons on Twitter too. Clever stuff. And now you need to go and do hands-on hands work. Great. Honestly, don't let me keep you. Um, you can also watch this back on the replay, can't you? Right, we'll schedule for tonight shortly as I've got a meeting with an ABW. Exactly, brilliant. Fantastic, do that. So schedule the stuff. Have it coming out even like once every few minutes, once every 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever. And so that we can, as long as you put that hashtag ABW hour, we can retweet that out for you. Um, and, you know, it'll, be, it'll get picked up somewhere. It'll get picked up somewhere. Um perfect do that do that do that okay hi Judy nice to see you how are you doing we're talking about what's going on behind the scenes at um Facebook HQ ABW <laughs> there's lots going on there um I recently also introduced loads of uh, visitors can I just tell you that waiting to come into aspiring business women on Facebook and perfect thank you is um is 158 people we have a waiting list of 159 people looking to come into the page there is a waiting list because I like to make sure that everybody is seen individually. I like to make sure that they are welcomed in, not just as another person, but as people in small groups that we want to get to know, that we want to get to share, that we want to get to help. Thank you. And I'm not lying. It really is true. Um, 
we've got people from all over the world, which is awesomely cool, which is why ABW are starting to spread their wings a little bit because it's not just about being local, is it? Um, you know, we love that and we love the face-to-face -face meetings and things like that, but this is something that, we, you know, we want to be able to help everybody and that's what this is all about. The periscopes, that's what it's about. The Twitter hours, that's what it's about. The Facebook tips, the online networking is about helping other ladies. Simple. It's as simple as that. It's not about us, it's about you. Okay, so what else are we looking? So I've invited a load of people in, they're all chatting, they're all networking. We've got um, a woman over, I was talking to a woman over in um, America. She is, where was she? Was she in Tampa, Tampa Bay? Oh my gosh, she got me buzzing yesterday. I swear to God, she was messaging me and she's only 18 years old and her name is Hope and she is just on it. You know when like somebody's on it and there she's just like, right, this is my goals. This is what I want to do. And it's not just like one little goal. This is like, I want to have this business and I want to have that business and me and my partner are doing this and then this is what we want to do and then we'll progress on to that and that's how we're going to make our money. That's how we're going to help people. She was blowing my mind and as soon as I like mentioned that we weren't quite over in America yet and that we were looking into that, she's like, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Let me share this out to people. Everybody needs to know about this. And she was coming in and getting advice from people like uh, she was looking for recruitment uh, advice because that's kind of what she's in, the business that she's in, and also opening a gym. So, of course, I've given her straight up two contacts, two or three contacts that she can speak to straight off the back. That's what it's all about. It's all about referrals and connecting. And the only reason that I knew who to give her names of and who to let her speak to isn't it good? Um, was because these people speak to us. The people who are ABW members and who are chatting. If I want to say hello. Hi, Trudy. Thank you. You've got to go as I've got to get ready for work. Have a lovely day. Enjoy enjoy your business. I know what you're doing. Have a lovely day. Um, so the people who are talking, the people who are coming in and telling us what they're doing, like Sarah uh, um, uh, and like everybody else, as soon as we know what they're doing, I can, I can give their names off like that. I can give their names off like that and know what their business is. So that's what, that's what it's all about. So connecting and stuff like that. And we also have Araceli, I think her name is. I'm really bad at, at, at names that are not like John <laughs> or Sarah. Anyway, she also is American um, coming in and I've connected her with a few people um, because she's looking for some help. She graduated in December. She's put out 150 CVs and she's not getting really anywhere. She's got like kind of some like 10 responses back. So she needed some help with regards to her resume, uh, her CV. And um, I was like, yeah, brilliant. And in the meantime, what else are you going to be doing? What else are you going to be doing whilst you're looking for jobs? What else are you going to be doing? Have you considered using your skills to start up a small business yourself? Great, she says, I just don't know where to start. So we get her in into the page and connect her with the people that are going to be in her industry. You know, they're across the pond, but business is business at the end of the day. We might all approach it in a different way, but that's what makes it so special. And that's exactly why aspiring business women is not a one seat policy. It is we have lots of people from the same areas and the same kind of um, careers and businesses and things like that but they all do things differently because we're all different ourselves the way we approach things is different the way I do Periscope is going to be different from the way somebody else does Periscope who's also a spray tanner or who also runs a network we are all so different so I um, in the amount of times I have to field questions about that well I can already see that there's somebody there selling creams I don't care I don't care we can all work together and it's people by people and it's so cliche and I'm sick of saying it, but people do buy people. People don't buy products. They don't buy products. They, it's like kind of like a cherry on the top. But you sell it to me in the way that, that you love it, that you are passionate about it, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm like ranting. Okay, had somebody saying, ah, lastminute.com, I need a personalized gift from my dad. I'm really rubbish at this. Can you help me? So we've got a list of people saying, right, this is what you can use. This is what you could do. This is what you could do. This is what you could do. Self-promotion on there without being salesy because they've been asked for it. They're asking for this. We've got some fantastic motivational quotes about dealing with fear in business um, again, somebody's looking for some help. I need sewing specialist. Can you help me? I need this. I need that. Um, motivational videos. We've got, what else have we got here? 
Right. Right. We've also, Claire's developing, um, and this is based on uh, our Derby Group uh, member, Julie. She is getting uh, groups of people together, groups of our members together who say that they want to be involved. And they put in their business page and they're in a, say, a group of four or a group of five. And they all go around that week or that month and promote each other's page in a non kind of pushy salesy way. That's like page interactions, it's sharing it on their time scales, um, on Facebook, it's sharing um, websites, and it's just with those four or five people. And it's just a way to get your insights up, to get your interaction up, and share it with your friends and family. It works really well. So is it working well for you then? Can you see comments? I can see comments. I can. I, was I not seeing comments before? I thought I was seeing them all the, all the time. So yes, that is just a tiny little bit of what's going on in the background. There's always, there's probably about five or six different things going on every hour. And of course, everything gets bumped down and then we remember and everything gets bumped back up. Um, for on a daily basis, what we try and do is, someone else couldn't, okay, I can see you, don't worry. Um, what else we try to do is on Saturday, we have a Saturday surgery, which is when all of our businesswomen, uh, if you've got any kind of questions, do you know what? I need more sales. Help me out, girls. And that might be looking at your Facebook page. That might be looking at your website, seeing how you're coming across. Um, it might be, ah, I'm really stuck with this really technical question and this phone is not working towards this laptop. Da, 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 da. Brilliant. So we have our computer experts come in and help them. And it's just, that's a Saturday surgery. So whatever problem you've got um, in your business, any issue, any question that you've got in your business, it's a really good opportunity for in one thread to tell everybody about that and get some help um, all in the one place. On Sunday, we have a Sunday blog log where we get everybody to do, who is brilliant at writing blogs, you know, and keeping up with it because it's really difficult to always keep up with it and think of things to write. But it is possible. Um, and we do a Sunday blog log where the put their most recent blog in the log and uh, and we all go about and we share them and we comment on them and again we in, and get the interaction going up. So aspiring businesswomen will share on their Google Plus, we'll share on Twitter, we will share on Pinterest, we will share on our Facebook pages, we'll share everywhere. And again, it's interaction, it's helping each other. Um, and I'm trying to think what other things, of, of course, Monday we have ABW Hour, so that's all about being on Twitter um, and helping each other's business that way and in that platform. Um, and we've got other stuff, we've got other stuff. We pretty much have something like every single day. Uh, testimonial Tuesday, and, and that is what it is. If you have used a service from a member or you have been in contact with a member um, and you like the way that they work, get on and do a testimonial for them. Get on and write a review for them, whether that be on Google, whether that be on their Facebook page, whether that be on wherever they want you to do it. If they say, oh, you did this and you bought from me, what do you think about this, da 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 And then you go and you take that testimonial Tuesday time uh, to do that, um, which is also great for, like, I copy and paste them from my Facebook into my website, which is awesome. And I did get a fantastic one uh, just recently um, from Ursula, who uh, is a photographer, and she had had her first spray tan um, ever, like a couple of months ago, and she is, like, addicted. Like, she is white Irish addicted. Um, she loved it. And she wrote the best review I think anybody's ever wrote about anybody. It was a poem. <laughs> it was a poem. It was a full-length poem. So please, uh, yeah, have ha do the testimonials. You know, even if you're not in our, in our group, always kind of refer people. Always kind of review them. Review their service. It really helps everything. Wednesdays and Thursdays, I can't remember what we do. Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. There must be stuff that we do. We do. We can do stuff every day. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. That's what's going on just behind one little page on Facebook, a closed Facebook page. You know, you get to see the open page and it's kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah this is what's happening and that's what's happening. But behind the scenes, it is absolutely buzzing and it's buzzing every single day. So much so that some people are like, oh my God, it's overwhelming. I've just started in business and what do I do? You're just starting in business. It is the best place to be. If you are 10 years down in your business and you need help with other aspects that you had never considered, it's the best place to be. 
at every step of the way. We are here to give you support and we are here to help you. And never has been truer today than what I was thinking about is our strapline, Aspiring Business Women strapline, is helping your business to succeed. And do you know what? That's exactly what we try and do all the time. We're always trying to think about how to help your business succeed, how to think outside the box for you, how to bring it back to basics for you. Whatever you need, we will be here to help you. That's it. I'm going to leave now. I know that I'm like ranting and rambling and going crazy, but uh, I just wanted to let you know about what's going on behind there. And we would love you to join us. Um, if you go on to Facebook, it's uh, Aspiring Business Women. There's an open page and there's a closed page. So just look for the closed page, quite frankly. Um, try and come in and uh, and I'll invite you in when I get through 159 other people. <laughs> no, I will, I will. And especially if you do happen to know somebody else who has referred you in there, I, I do that. Join us. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, you can look at the website, uh, www.aspiringbusinesswomen.co.uk. That kind of gives us a lot of information about um, about us, about what's happening, about our members and everything like that. You can find us on Twitter at ABW Networking. You can find us on Google+. Plus. You can find us everywhere. You can find us everywhere. But the place to be right now is in that closed Facebook page. So I really look forward to introducing you to... 300 odd other women, uh, business women in business, business women, whatever, um, people who are looking for inspiration, people who have not even started and they're like getting all this free information. It's amazing. It's a great place to be. Thank you very much. And I will see you all later. If you feel free to come on to hashtag ABW Hour tonight and ask any questions about the scope that maybe I haven't been able to answer or that I've just been talking so fast and so Scottish that you haven't understood what I'm saying. <laughs> come on there, tweet me tonight and I will answer all of your questions uh, that I possibly can. Subtle scoop, I'm going now, but you can watch everything on the replay and I'm sure that you know a lot of it anyway, but um, lovely to have you join in anyway. Much love to you all. And another little tip at the end of the periscope, wait a couple of seconds before you press stop broadcast because otherwise it just gets cut off. It's kind of like lags back a little bit. So I'm going to give you a three, a two, a one. Bye.